So uh, when I started this project, I was uh, trying to find a little electric motor uh, that I could use. Uh, and uh, I finally realized that I actually had a, uh, an old um, toy airplane type of thing. Uh, so I found this, uh, the old controller for it, which has a built-in electric motor. And uh, so I gutted everything except for the motor and, of course, the battery cases there. Uh, so it was all nicely arranged for me. Uh, even has a you know a controller for the uh, uh, the speed. Uh, <clears throat> now my uh, initial attempt at uh, looking at what I could use uh, as a small uh, fan or blower. Uh, I came up with uh, this little 3 mil syringe, which nicely fit here. I had to modify it a little bit just so that the uh, thing would fit together. My intention was uh, to, um, uh, to put the, uh, the wood smoking bowl uh, just outside onto this area here and have it blow out um, onto the tube. Uh, so um, when I took the syringe, of course, I modified it. Uh, I twisted the um, uh, the uh, the plunger, uh, and uh, I was hoping that by drilling a little hole here and attaching a tube to the um, uh, smoker box, uh, it would simply pro uh, propel the um, the air up through. Uh, the syringe and into the uh, uh, the smoking tube, but uh, as it turned out, it just didn't draw quite enough air. So uh, back to the drawing board. I decided that the most efficient type of fan would be a centrifugal blower, so I used the lid of a tomato sauce can to make the uh, components uh, of the fan itself. The body of the blower is uh, made of a medicine bottle cap, uh, which has been uh, smoothed down on the inside with the Dremel tool. This is the almost completed blower, which incorporates that syringe that uh, wasn't successfully used previously. And here's the assembled blower mounted inside the housing. Since fire is involved, I thought it would be a good idea to make a spark arrester for the intake tube, uh, so I made it out of a strip of uh, stainless steel. This is the spark arrester which is just inside that tube, which I am soldering to the firebox. And these are the unassembled components of the smoking gun. Here it is, completely assembled and ready for testing. Okay, this is my final product, uh, as you can see before you. Um, I'm going to put a very small amount of wood chips in here just for the, uh, the test. Just a very, very small amount. And I'm going to turn it on um, and we'll see how it goes. As you can see, it's generating quite a bit of smoke. I'm going to put it in, smoke into a container and as you see if I had put that smoke um, into that container with some food uh, and of course I can put herbs and spices and everything else uh, in there as well uh, it will smoke and uh, it looks like uh, this I can put this tip into um, uh, the uh, barbecue uh, or any barbecue if I'd like uh, and it should add enough smoke that uh, it should flavor the thing quite nicely. As I lift the lid off you can see this huge amount of smoke that uh, just came off. Anyway, uh, it looks like uh, it's been a success.